that's outside of the shop that's going to work on the electronics on the van. It is a quite a nice ride actually back to the place I'm staying here in Portland. And so I thought that I would make a little video about uh, what's going to happen with the van, but also what's going to happen in the next few weeks. I'm headed to Germany, then Italy, I'm going to do some cycling, and I'm bringing the trike with me. <laughs> so let's go. Hello. So I hope everybody out there is doing well. It is a beautiful day in Portland. It has been sort of rainy, but uh, today is, well, from, from the last few days, pretty abnormal in the, in the aspect that it is really, really nice. Uh, can you hear me okay, everybody? I'll do a little audio check. I, I don't have my microphone on and I didn't bring it with me, so it is going to be the way it's gonna be turn the camera a little bit yeah there we go very sunny let me put the camera around look at this this is an interesting uh, place they do titanium air aircraft parts I think they're called precision precision uh, really really interesting uh, company and they support the uh, precision cast parts they support a uh, pretty big industry here as a matter of fact, that's the parking lot. Yeah, sorry, I can't help with that mic. It's just the way it's gonna be. So hopefully it's not, not too, too bad. Well, when I face forward, I can turn the camera a little bit closer to my mouth so you can hear it a little bit better. Little, little bit of wind noise, noise, noise. So uh, yeah, let's talk about what's going on. I'll, I'll, I'll do forward here until you guys say that you want me to flip over, flip around, and I'll, I'll do that too. I won't go too fast so the wind doesn't go too crazy. This place uh, in, has been getting so much rain that there's just so much growth here. Like the, the roadsides have dandelions growing. It is really beautiful. Eva has, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, Eva uh, learned about dandelions. She's like, these are the first flowers of the year. And she has this whole idea. She learned about how bees pollinate and birds spread seeds. And she was talking about dandelions for a while. And so that was kind of cute. A very cute, cute, cute. She is very cute. Uh, once I cross this bridge upcoming, I'll be in a forest and it should dissipate this wind. So just hang on a little bit and we'll get through it together. This bridge is actually quite nice too. It's, it's, I think it's metal. And so it's got this rust around it. Yeah, it's metal. But beyond it, oh, other than the graffiti, it's not all over everywhere in Portland. It's just graffiti by. Jason, Michigan. Yeah, it's quite bike friendly here. We're going to head across onto the trail here. And uh, you can see up there, it kind of, we it is actually quite beautiful. And uh, so that will be nice. So let me talk a little bit about what's happening. Tomorrow, we will take the trike and all of my gear for Europe for the whole trip to my friend Mel's shop at Recumbent PDX. And yeah, there's this thing's always covered in graffiti. One time I drove past here and they were painting the graffiti and they gave me a real sour look. There's no point in recording. It's just, there's gonna be graffiti on there for the next day. It's crazy. But anyways, <laughs> it is what it is. But uh, yeah, Euro trip. So tomorrow we are going to go and we are going to box up the trike. And uh, if you guys know uh, how big this thing is, it is a beast. And um, I have some dimensions that I have to meet in order to fly on Air Canada. 
Air Canada had the best. Uh, here. See, I like, some people are like, you have to face the camera on the trail all the time. And I'm like, well, when I have this, this live stream experience or when I'm riding, I'm talking to the camera. It's, it's like I'm talking to friends, you know? Like you're all my friends. And so when I, <laughs> when I talk to friends, I like to have eye contact with them. And so I'm, I'm having eye contact with all of you. It's, it's, it, is, it is a little bit counter to the beauty of cycling because you know, you, you, people want to watch these videos. They're probably a lot of them just want me to face the camera forward. But hopefully you can see the view behind and then I'll flip forward and we'll go back and forth. How about that? A little bit of both because I want to see you guys. And even though you're, you're looking at me through my phone, I still feel like I'm sitting uh, in my chair here talking to all of my buddies. And uh, sometimes I'll look off and sometimes I'll look at you. And so, yeah, the, I, I like the experience of the vlog to be that way as well. Anyways, <laughs> it is what it is. Sorry to those that don't want to see my ugly mug at all. Oh, here's a little butterfly. Oh. Remember to tighten the straps on the dream seat. Yeah, I will do that uh, when I get to Europe. I think I'll probably take the seat apart and use the dream seat as padding for the spaces between the frame and stuff. I have to sort of use everything to my advantage in order to make sure that uh, this trike makes it in one piece. Here's a nice little butterfly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did you see the butterfly? So anyways, tomorrow we will pack up the trike and then Thursday uh, at six in the morning, I will fly out from PDX airport. Um, that's the international airport in Portland and the airport code. And uh, we will be on our way. Uh, I have uh, three flights to take and uh, three flights back. So it's, it's quite crazy. But the, uh, I did a lot of research on flying the, uh, the trike and I found that the most generous size wise and weight wise and price wise for, uh, for the trike was Air Canada. They provide for $50 fee, you can bring your bike or trike you have to fit with under 70 pounds um, and you have to be able to fit it within 115 linear inches and 115 is really really good i mean 115 is great as a matter of fact uh Luthwanza is like under 100 Luthwanza is like 95 inches linear that's height width and depth you know bueno nuto in italia jayo on the road again well i'll be in italy soon so <laughs> i wonder how much english is prevalent in italy because my italian is non-existent so hopefully i'll be able to get by i'm pretty used to being a strange man in a in a, a strange land but at least it'll be europe i think i think it'll be fine <laughs> i think so but uh oh man what a what a beautiful day. Oh, God. This is a nice little little area here. Jason, don't even say that, buddy. Let's, let's leave that bad karma talk out of here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, if, if you were wondering what Jason is referring to, the last time I flew with this trike, I packed it up after I built it in the Czech Republic and uh, it was lost in Dublin airport uh, on my way back here to Portland, as a matter of fact. And I didn't get it until I, I got it in Detroit. It ended up lost at Dublin airport for, I think it was a month or something. But um, instead, I, I did a lot of research and I contacted Air Canada. They know that I'm bringing the trike. They know how big it is. And I have made sure that all of my flights are within the Air Canada family. And so there's no like, 
there's no connections where I've got to go from one brand to another brand. They're all kind of under the same umbrella. And uh, that provides me with a little bit of security, I hope. <laughs> I hope. Wow, I'm looking at the screen here. Is it, uh, are, are you clear? Am I clear? Am I five by five? Because this is, this is really, really nice. And there's a bridge way up there. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's got a, like a reddish, like a sun, sun bleached red hue to it. So, yeah. But yeah, the, the trike is actually a little bit over 70 pounds. And so I'm going to have to uh, carry some of the heavier components. Um, there's going to be a little juggling. So I'm going to make a video about, about the packing of it. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Hello. But uh, yeah, this is a, a greenway. And uh, it's quite beautiful. There's not, there's not a lot of trash and stuff in the, in the path itself, which I really like. They keep it pretty clean. Um, and uh, it starts out right there at Johnson Creek Boulevard. It actually goes backwards quite a ways, but I started at Johnson Creek. Hello. Hello. Where did you And uh, yeah, yeah. So um, the first stop when we get to Europe is going to be a, uh, we're gonna go to um, um, Zurich. So we're gonna land in Zurich and at, in Zurich, we're going to get picked up by my friend Pat, who owns owned TerraCycle. Pat was the owner of TerraCycle. He's since retired from owning the company and passed it on to a few of his employees. He actually passed it on to a few guys I know. One of them you've seen. Uh, his name is Quinton. And he's got a big, long beard. Uh, very, very fun guy. You, you, you saw him ride the trike on two wheels when I was in Ohio at the show there. Uh, he was part of the TerraCycle group when, when, when we were there. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's very, very cool um, that, that they've taken over. And then Pat now is living the retired life. And he has, uh, <laughs> he has um, been traveling a lot himself. As a matter of fact, I called him. I'm staying at his house as a guest in his house right now. And he's on the road, and I'll actually see him when I get to um, Europe, because he's going to pick me up from the airport in Zurich and drive me to Germany, me and the trike and everything else. So, um, let's see here. Focus, please. Well, I'm looking, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> You're so lucky to be able to travel like you do. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, I am lucky. Uh, although, it's been pretty stressful the last little while. Hello. Getting, getting everything ready and getting the van ready and getting it dropped off. And I installed the floor in the van, which I didn't show anybody quite yet, um, but it looks quite nice. I didn't do as fantastic. Out of one out of 10, I think I did a seven and a half job on that, uh, on the floor, but it is what it is. Highway bridge here. Nice, nice beer. It was white, but it had personality, that's for sure. Just think, we're going to be doing this in, Port in, uh, in Italy pretty soon, and in Germany. And that's uh, pretty exciting. Here's a uh, roadside home. I, uh, I don't know how some people live like that, but it looks a little focus fuzzy. Oh, I can't, I can't focus. I think, how about everybody else? Is it in focus or is it out of focus? I mean, it's a live stream. So sometimes the bandwidth uh, affects the focus of the, of the playback. So I don't think I have a lot of control over that, but I'm sorry about that if it does. But uh, we are gonna go off this trail at the end and go into town, a little suburban area. And then we will be again along the water. Uh, I don't have my maps, but I, I'm pretty sure I remember it. This was like sort of my commute for a while. It's unexpected on live streaming. Oh, it's expected on live streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I make full-on videos, they'll be higher quality. That's for sure. I have to, I have to start running with the dog when I get back to Michigan. Um, and that would be uh, that would be fun. She's 
she's a bit crazy and she likes to bite you on your ankle. She thinks you're playing all the time. I don't think it would take long to shake her from it, but it would be nice to kind of like do, like I see a lot of people here and they're running with their, with their animals and, uh, well, <laughs> animals, they're running with their dogs. I don't see anybody running with cats or running with birds or running with ferrets or guinea pigs. It's pretty much, it's pretty much all <laughs> dogs. So anyways, that was another encampment. Lots of wind noise from your mic. I, Kalu, I, I can't help it. The, I'm, I'm riding, I'm trying to go slow so I don't bring too much wind noise to the camera, but you shouldn't be hearing wind noise right now, right? Tell me if you hear wind noise at this moment because I'm going slow and the air is quite dead. Hey, nobody banana. Well, you know, I have microphones and stuff. I just forgot to pack them on this short ride. Hello. I was I was not really planning on doing a, uh, a live stream on this. And uh, I mean, let's see. Let's see if I have my mic. No, I don't have my microphone, so it is what it is. What is the gear you're using at the moment? Um, right now, I'm on my roll-off speed hub at 11. And uh, let's see here. So I'm, I'm at 11. I normally live around 9, which is right there. But I'm at 11. And on my chain ring, I'm at my big ring right now. I'm going to go down to 3 just so I can pick up some speed. I also have this inner chain ring which I operate with my hand, which is like my mountain drive. And then I can pull it over and, uh, and it manual, manual gear shifting. So any of you guys do manual gear shifting? I was sort of introduced to manual gear shifting, um, by, uh, I was sort of uh, introduced to manual gear shifting by Azeb because they, they were like, why don't you get rid of all that crazy hardware and the derailleur up in front and then you can just use your hand, you know? You're going to the Philippines for a few days. That's pretty cool, nobody banana. Are you, uh, are you gonna, is that for travel for fun or is that for work? I'm guessing it's for work. <laughs> and derailleur, yeah, pretty cool. I'll show you again how it works. So if I want to shift it and I'm not under tension, I just do that and it shifts and then I just do that and it shifts back. It's pretty easy. Yeah, nobody, you're always working, man. You're a hard working man. trying to remember where I go to the uh, to that nice trail. I think I cross here. I'm not 100 sure. We'll just have a little fun and explore, right? Eh? So I can talk to you guys. I don't have anything else to do today. Today's objective was to clean up the van, get it ready to drop off at the shop. And now that that's done, um, I can just take my time and enjoy a beautiful, beautiful day ride through uh, Portland. So that's fine. Yeah, Portland reminds me a lot of, a lot of it reminds me a lot of Southeast Michigan, like sort of just the houses and it's very lush with trees and whatnot. But Portland is, takes that lushness to like a whole new level. I mean, it is very green. Hello. Very, very green. But, uh, yeah. I actually I kind of want to open my map, but I won't. We'll just figure it out. Hello. Some people, a lot of people taking advantage of this nice, beautiful day to uh, relax and, and take their dog for a walk or do some housework or build something There's a lot of people building stuff but like wood and whatnot because 
I actually there's a there's a channel that I watch, and you tell me if you've you've seen it. It's called Blacktail Studios. Anybody out there know Blacktail Studios? They make uh, like live wood tables with epoxy, and he makes some of the most beautiful beautiful tables I've ever seen. Yeah, these are my favorite sandals. They're my Keen sandals. These are what I rode around. I would say probably 95% of my touring is with these very sandals. Not exact, not the same ones, but the same style because they've sort of gotten, gotten tore up. And, uh, and I've, <laughs> I've sort of brutalized them over and over and over. And I've had to buy the same one over and over, but I love them. They're wide in the front of the, cause my foot's a little wide in the front and they're just, they're just perfect. And they get dry quick too, if I, if I ride through the rain. We're gonna go to the end of this road. I, I, I feel like the end of this road goes to, uh, goes to another trail. I forget the name of it. There's a lot of trails around this area, but. What'd you think of my last few videos? Anybody watch those? They were uh, like riding videos, traveling videos, and uh, had a lot of fun. Have a fun ride safe, Matt. I need to get to Wichita now, okay. All right, Fred, take it easy, buddy. Have a safe and uneventful yet beautiful drive. Fred and I have become really good friends over the last uh, few years. He's a, a loyal subscriber and and more than that, just a friend. And uh, he's helped me out on a number of occasions personally. And we've met a couple of times. And uh, he's one of the he's one of the, uh, the brighter sides of having a YouTube channel is meeting interesting and nice people. Yep, I was right. Yep, yep. This is the other trail. I uh, I knew that uh, I knew my memory would remember how to link up to the other trail. Here's a bus. Here is the trail that we will ride on to. And it will ride along the river. It's actually quite nice. This is the Springwater Corridor is what this is. Sup, Matt? I was just gonna say I enjoyed seeing you riding the trike again. Thanks, Nash. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I'll tell you what, this trike in particular is so much fun. Um, I don't know if you guys remember or if you when you started watching me, but I used to ride a trike called uh, HP Velotechnic Scorpion 20FS. It just slips right off the tongue. But um, Velo is bike, uh, Velotechnic, uh, you know, HP. Um, the company makes really, really nice high-end trikes. And um, I bought, and, and actually I went through two Scorpion 20FSs. And the difference was that that this wheel, this wheel, and the back wheel are all 20 inches, and the FS means fully suspended. Now, this trike is also fully suspended with a shock mount in the back with a really, really cool uh, suspension system. This is uh, a leaf suspension system, um, but the 20 is not quite the same. As a matter of fact, it's uh it's quite bigger as a matter of fact it's one of the largest trikes that you can buy because the wheels are 26 inches so that's a 26 inch wheel that's a 26 inch wheel and that's a 26 inch wheel um and the, the tires make it even bigger i mean these this thing is a monster and i think it just really makes it's fitting for me it is a fun fun trike to ride and i i've really enjoyed it so we're going to cross this road. And off to our left here is a uh, river. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lots of crows here. Yeah, if you guys watched my last video, you'll see that I was literally hopping over six inch curbs without even having to get off the trike. I mean, it was just walking over something that I would have normally had to lift the trike to get over, which is really crazy. Hello. 
And so I was just like driving over big, big curbs and it was, it was awesome. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Here we come to another little homeless encampment. Matt, remember the glowing face paint? Well, I wore glowing face paint at a number of occasions. One time I, I, uh, I was at the full moon party in Kotao in, uh, oh no, it was Kopangan. Kopangan in uh, the Straits of, uh, in the Gulf of Thailand. And I wore some glowing paint, but I don't know if I made a video with it. <laughs> that video is, that video is buried. Buried in my, uh, in my collection, in my hard drive. Yeah, I don't know how many, how many people are living here, but that's everywhere here. They're building a uh, apartment here or something. Doing some facade work. Is it facade or facade? Is it an F or a V? I don't know. Oaks Park. There's a little... Yeah, you'll remember this place, actually. Oaks Park. Um, let's go and take a ride around. You can see, and then we'll, we'll go up along the water, and then we'll keep going. I'm just sort of uh, recording here, and we'll just use the battery up in my phone. Doing the live streams really chews up the battery, but it's okay. I got nothing, like I said, I got nothing else to do. Beautiful day. Beautiful. So let's go up here. So what's everybody doing today? Can you tell me where you are, what you're doing? Portland, riding a trike. Now go. <laughs> what's everybody else doing? And how is the weather? I know in Michigan right now, Annie's there with Eva. It is cold. As a matter of fact, we got a, a freezing alert on my phone and I sent a message out to uh, to Annie. I was like, oh, looks like you're going to get a little cold. And she's like, I really do not like the, uh, I do not like the, uh, the cold weather. I'm doing van life, Albania. Very nice weather. Hey, Roman Rob, how's it going? I didn't know you were in Albania, Roman. Or Rob. I'll call you Rob. <laughs> doing final plumbing work. Sunny, beautiful weather, but windy as usual in Calgary. All right. Lily pad, Mike. That's cool. I'm doing some plumbing work. I hope it's not like the, the toilet plumbing and it's more the sink plumbing. But both of those are necessary. So. Wow, you know what I'm thinking? This area here has had uh, had a crazy renovation. It used to have all these RVs that were broken down that were along these white cinder blocks, big blocks, and they are there, cleaned up. That's good. That's good. Kind of feel bad for whoever was living in those things, though. Hopefully they were relocated or situated properly. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, last I spoke to you when I moved my van being damaged six months back. I remember talking to you. I just don't remember that uh, you were in Albania. weather in Texas. Is it hot? Super hot? Not too bad? Tell me, tell me. This is a, this is like almost the perfect riding. Can you hear me or is the wind like totally killing me? I know the wind's blowing on the camera. Here's me covering the, I'm covering up the microphone with my hand. So maybe you can hear me better now. Can you hear me better with my hand over the microphone? I'm cupping it right here. But uh, anyways, what are you going to do about it? Nothing you can do about it. Let's go inside. And say, I think this phone has been, manages the... Uh, Hello. 
I'm watching two ROV live streams, but now just one because you went live. Oh, thank you, Jason. Hang out one of these days, Jerry. We've been talking for a long time, and uh, and I haven't seen you. Windy Mike, JM, I am sorry. I just can't do anything about it. I am uh, riding in the wind. It's the way it is. Model planes or cars or or what? What sort of ROV? I wonder if we can ride into the. You made a fluffy mic cover in a video some years. Oh yeah 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 yeah. For the for the phone. Listen, I am rusty. I need to get back into the zone. Are you we back? Can you hear me? We might be uh, we might be losing some signal here. So, can you see me? We might be uh, losing some signal here. So, I don't know. I don't know. We're back. How's it going, Simon? You going sailing? I haven't been sailing in a very long time. That would be very nice. If I go, if I disappear, just hang on a little bit because I'll leave the live stream open and I might I might I might cut out when I get into the forest back there and uh, yeah maybe that metal like the metal from the rides or something blocked the signal I don't know but um, what am I gonna do nothing I can do about it but we're gonna get back on the uh, the Sweetwater trail or whatever and uh, so that would be that Silly. Still in the states. States, I see. Yeah, I'll be here for a little while, but uh, well, not. I'll be here for a few more days. Then I will be headed to Germany via Zurich with the trike. And so I find. Listen, I, I can't control anything anymore with the, with, the, with the video. You can tell me some things, but there's nothing I can do about it. Okay? Uh, if, if there if, if I could have brought my microphone maybe I could have done better but we all make mistakes right none of us are perfect okay so we're gonna hop a curb over here and uh, we're gonna get back up on the trail so let's go over this switch down some gears over the curb the hill I wouldn't have been able to do that on the previous strike, that's for sure. So, okay, let's go back on the trail here. Actually, next to a bird sanctuary, which is just up over this berm, over this fence here, and over the railroad tracks. And uh, you can see there's a, there's a structure there, whether it's like an apartment or whatever, but they painted. They painted it with all these birds, which was kind of cool, which is pretty nice. Now let's see here. Hold on, hold on. Windy day. You're getting over to Sicily when you're in Italy. I don't think so. I'll be up in the center northern portion of Italy where I'll start riding. Then I will ride to Pisa, and then there's a ferry terminal there that could take me to Corse. And from Corse, I will go to Sardinia, and then from Sardinia, I will take a ferry back to uh, just outside of Rome. So, when and where do you start your trip in Germany? We are gonna start our trip right, right next to Zurich on the other side for a show called, oh, here's some wind.
for a show called The Spezzy Show. The Spezzy Show specializes in... I'm surprised your family shows... Well, I mean, I'm American, so that's probably why we chose them, you know. We chose here, because we we're living... We got a house. It's right next to where my family's from, so... Where my family lives, so that's why we chose that. But... I was in Pisa last month. Nice place. Hope you can spend a day there. Yeah, how was how Rob, how was the the roads there? Were you were there a lot of cyclists when you were riding around? I'm very curious on how my tour will will go when I'm in uh Italy. I mean, obviously it'll be fine. I'll figure it out, but uh I'm just sort of not nervous, just uh, excited. I'm excited and curious and uh, ready to uh, ready to ride in Europe. It's going to be fun, you know. But uh, yeah, this is they, they cleaned this trail up a lot. As a matter of fact, we'll we'll we will see when we get to the end of this fence area and the and the railroad tracks kind of widen a little bit because there was a huge homeless encampment like. It was really ugly. There was mattresses that were falling down the berm, and it was quite crazy. But this is this is very nice, and everything sort of spring bloom. Hello, and uh, clear and crisp. Very very nice. But yeah, so we chose. There was a few reasons why the crew moved here. Um, one of them is because my niece and nephew are going to school. Hello are going to an academy in Indiana and they wanted some family to be in the States uh, with for, for them when they need us. And so that's one reason. Another reason is, uh, uh, well, the pandemic sort of screwed things up. I ended up coming here earlier to try to uh, restart things and, and started working on the van. That's a reason. Um, Eva wanted to, you know, we wanted Eva to experience what life in America was like. So you know, that's another reason, you know, she's enjoying it. Although, although America has an interesting, America has some issues they need to deal with. Eva was at her school the other day and she, um, there was a shooting that was a few blocks away and there was like a, a warning sent out by the sheriff's office and they were on lockdown and we got a message. I got a message. Annie got a message where everybody got a message. It said the school's in lockdown. Everybody's okay, but don't pick up your kids until everything is clear. And, uh, Eva and half of her class was shuttled into a closet. And then the other half were shuttled into another closet. And there's something, a weird message that keeps coming up in my, in my, in my, chat here um but um they uh eva had to sit in the closet with the lights off for like four hours like three or four hours and she said that it was uncomfortable it was black and her friend or the, her classmates kept talking and she told us that she told her classmates you better be quiet or else a man's going to come in here and shoot us. That is, that is surreal. Surreal that she has the, she has that sort of phrase in her lexicon to, to kind of, she shouldn't, she shouldn't ever have to say those words. There should never be, there were, should never be a chance for a kid to have to say those words. Anyways, um, and we, we get like notices all the time and we don't live in a very dangerous district. It's, it's pretty mundane suburban Michigan <laughs> area. Yet there's drugs coming to the school. There's guns coming to the school. There's threats from people and the district sends us messages all the time. It's not all of the elementary school. We get messages about high schools. Everybody in the whole district sends out. So if somebody in high school like a senior in high school says that he's gonna you know, sell drugs or he's smoking marijuana or something. All of us, even the first grade, like even in first grade, even we get the message. I actually don't like that. I would rather not be informed what's going on in the higher grades. 
Do you agree? I, I don't think... I, it, it, all it does is serve to scare everybody. It's like, just don't tell us what's happening in the higher... Obviously, if our school goes into lockdown, our elementary school, you should let us know. But other than that, unless it's happening in our elementary school, I don't think we should know about it. That sounds like a school-by-school school thing that should be dealt with. You know what I mean? But this is, this is a... I mean, I don't know... I don't, I, I, I really wonder if Americans realize how strange that is. Because that is a very, very strange, fairly American-centric thing. Obviously, there's, there's violence around the world. Obviously, there's opportunities where schools need to go into lockdown. But it is happening on such a regular basis. And I am living in a bubble in, in, in my area, and I'm seeing it personally. You know, there's one thing, especially with me living overseas, where I hear things happening and I'd say, no, America's not like that. Or no, you're just seeing the, like, the, like the headlines. Well, no, I mean, I, I am living in America right now. And my daughter had to sit in a closet for four hours because there was a shooting. And she had to, you know, that is, that is an America. I got, that is not news. That is my life, you know, being affected. And that is quite disturbing. All right, this is a little dip. Let's let's pick up some speed and I'll talk to you in the top. Shifting up. I like this. I like this dip here. Ooh. That's fun. So, anyways, that's a that's a weird thing. But the air is very clean. The, the, the suburban house and house and house and house style is kind of interesting. You know, in, in China, Annie lived pretty much in apartments. It was just from one apartment to another apartment. And, and that's how people in China live in a, along the coast. You know, most of them live not in single family houses. They live in, you know, in high-rise apartments even way way back like 30 30 40 years ago it was still people were living in in multi-level communities i mean if you, 40 years ago maybe there was a lot more village lifestyle where people's homes were probably connected to one another i know that uh, i saw annie's father's village and uh he's like in his 60s and so i saw where he grew up and it was, you know, red brick uh, buildings, but they were all sort of connected together. Um, you'll see a lot of that in, in China, in the older parts, in older communities, you know, and a lot in the, uh, in the rebuilt communities, like the new communities that are built to look like the old com communities. Uh, so that's cool. So is she back in school? Jason asked. What, Eva? Eva has been in school, yeah, for, She's been in school in America for over uh, like a year, I think. You know? So she is in public school. And uh, here's another. This one is still around. This is a, uh, a community who is just sort of staked out a little, a little area off of the, uh, off of the path. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if if you don't get bothered by anybody and you can just kind of like chill out down there, I guess that's okay. Just as long as you stay clean. But uh, yeah, yeah, Eva has been in public school. When, our, when we move, she's gonna be in a new school and that new school is going to be really nice. We met the, uh, um, we met the principal and the district is a little bit more, is a little bit nicer. Oh, here's a train going by. I wonder if we could see it. I can hear it. Oh, that wasn't a train. That, that's a highway up there. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was just I saw a semi-truck. It looked like a train. Yeah. Up here, up here is where you used to have all the homeless encampments. And it would, they, were, they were like falling down the hill. <laughs> which was not super cool. <laughs> not super cool. Anyways, yeah, the new school that Eva's going to go to, Eva's my daughter, she's, uh, she's uh, um, 
seven, six, seven, and uh, she is uh, six going on seven, and she is, uh, she's going to be seven here pretty soon, actually, in just a couple of months, and uh, we'll celebrate that. That'll be nice, but um, yeah, so she'll be in second grade at the new school, and it is really, really nice. Is Eva still practicing karate? Tom Boyd asks. Hell yeah. I tell you what, karate is awesome. And I think that her dojo in particular is really, really nice. So here's some flat land. Oh yeah, I think they cleaned up a lot of it. They still have some, but this, this, this hill that you see up there, man, that was covered in garbage. It was covered in garbage. And now it's, it's nice. It looks like some of the people have relocated though to the low-lying areas, which I think is probably smarter for them too. Otherwise, you're just living on a on a hillside. I mean, they were they were just that whole area there was covered in in, in trash. It was they would build these houses out of garbage, and then they would sort of wind or whatever would destroy them, and then they would end up cascading and falling down the uh the hill oh this is much nicer much nicer good job good job but uh anyways um yeah so evil will be in second grade greetings from fernie hey david how are you doing why did ali leave china didn't he have a chinese ali is back in china he wanted to visit his family he had just gotten over cancer and he was stuck in China during COVID and so he had an opportunity to go home and so he did and then on his way back he traveled a little bit but he's back in China right now so you know I don't know what you're in sort of insinuating but you know he's everybody everybody lives a different life even me hello even me you know I uh, I cycle cycled around the world for long periods of time well my my daughter and Annie are you know at the at the house and I would commute back and forth it's all based on communication. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought I thought that you, you that you weren't making a snide comment, but um, but uh, Ollie? Yeah, I don't know. Ollie's kind of on his own, doing his own thing. Ollie's a big kid, you know. He's he's an adult, and uh, you know they were doing the the sh the channel hello for a while together, and uh, you know they sort of just grew apart a little bit I guess you know as far as content goes but I, I you know th the two of them get together in a way that I don't think a lot of fathers and sons do I was sort of jealous of the fact that uh, Ollie and Lee Barrett were able to come together for whatever period of time and share their lives a little bit you know I hope I really hope I really hope that when the van is finished and Eva ages a few more years, that we can go on little trips, me and her, and we can share in uh, life together. You know, I think that would be, that's gonna be a lot of fun uh, for me. And I hopefully think it, it'll be a lot of fun for you because Eva is a little, Eva's, <laughs> Eva's a chip off the old block in some ways. Uh, and uh, uh, she would probably really get a kick out of doing some trips although she might find herself bored out of her mind for a long drive so we'd have to probably figure out a way to go on a few trips me and her that are shorter distance you know hour two hours then three hours then maybe a five hour trip and then maybe like do a cross-country trip but you're gonna have to like wean her into it Matt when I was in high school in 1988 we had many bomb scares two bombs three shootings seven in the school building suicides police presence daily i'm in a small east coast city in uh um is that new brunswick canada is that what mb is misha de bear that's crazy that is that's too much i haven't seen barrett jr for a while now you know what maybe i'll reach out to ali i haven't i haven't sent any messages out to him in a while but he is on my wechat i could say hi and see what he's up to maybe i'll do that and uh in my next live stream you know i'm going to try to next time you bring my microphone so i'll have better sound and then i will try to do more of these live streams when i am in uh oh roman rob take it easy man take it easy 
I'm going to try and do more live streams when we are in, uh, when we are in uh, uh, Europe. Would you like that? Or would you like uh, produced videos? Let me know what, what you think. It'd be fun to see Eva's reaction to van travel. I love taking trips with my dad. I love taking trips with my family too. We used to take trips and we would go to, um, we would go to, uh, where would we go? We would go to um, North uh, Michigan and we'd go to Petoskey. Now, why did I not remember Petoskey? But, uh, oh, this is interesting. What is that? What is that? But we would go to Petoskey and there were sand dunes there. I fell in love with, you know, like, like, you know, child, child love, you know, like, like just that nine year old kind of like, ooh, she's pretty, you know, I remember feeling those kind of like goofy, you know, friendship feelings and, and, and just, just so many memories. Bring the van and travel to some beautiful places in America and North and Canada and, you know, maybe even I could bring her down to Mexico and South America and, you know, where it's, where, where when we, when I'm sure it's going to be in some safer areas and, you know, they, they, they're going to come and visit me, you know, the two of them and that'll be fun. Hey Matt, are you and family all settled in the new house? GB asks. No, we bought a lot in a community, a really, really nice lot. And, um, we are building a house. It should be ready in September sometime between September and Christmas, the house should be ready. So, wow, this guy right here. Holy moly. That guy had an eight pack. I mean, that thing was like, bum, 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 bum. I've got a keg. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't have a six pack. I don't have an eight pack. I got to lose some weight is what I got. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see beautiful green lush some graffiti and uh, somebody's doing some some repairs on their bike might, might have a uh, flat maybe i got a fanny pack lol time to go to the gym yeah well i'll be cycling every day in uh in italy so i'm i'm guessing i'm gonna lose some weight my objective with the tour and you can put your thumb on this my objective in the tour is to try to get to about 95 kilos so i'm at 102 right now but i'd like to get to 95 that would be great building a new house that is exciting yeah two uh, for mj yep 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 i'm excited about it we'll see uh we'll see how it comes together it is it's going to be a beautiful house and annie is super excited about it too so let's read some comments Congratulations on buying a lot and building a house. Wonderful. Annie must be doing the design. You know what's funny? Annie is going to import all of the stuff from China, all of the interior decor. Um, she's That's what she does, you know, for her career. So she's she knows all the contacts. We're going to load up a couple of containers and we're going to ship them and furnish a whole house. And then Annie had some ideas about doing that for other builders in the area so if she can kind of do this as a test and furnish the house you know really cheaply but also very sophisticated using you know her her leads and her sources in china then she can kind of uh, 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 you know branch that out into a business proposition and sell to other home builders which there are a lot of in, in michigan or, or all around and try to build a little company that's that's doing that how much does a container cost well i mean it, uh, there's so many different factors but i mean typically you know you can kind of guess just the just if you shipped an empty container let's say from shanghai port to uh, long beach it used to be about a 20 foot container was about 2200 bucks then the pandemic tenfolded that it was like twenty thousand dollars at some point to ship a container but i think it's come back down and it's now back to where it was before like two or three thousand dollars to ship a container portland something something did you read that sign on the road but i would be up for that like decor i need help with that yeah yeah uh everything from you know mirrors to toilets to couches to tables to beds 
to pictures to, you know, all sorts of things. I told her that I'd really like to have uh, some of the photos that I took on tour, like of Everest and uh, Mount Fuji, pick out some of the really nice ones and then turn them into sort of art deco on the walls, you know, because you can do that now. AI might help that a lot. Like, I wonder if AI could anal analyze some of my personal photos and, uh, and then incorporate them into some really, really nice artistic renderings of, uh, of, of photos. This guy's got his guitar with him. Howdy. So, yeah, yeah. A metal print for pictures. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you could do uh, to to these photos, especially like a like an old Chinese village. Man, that would be so cool. And then each room in the house could be a bit of a different theme, whether it's you know Japan or Korea or uh, mountains or cycling or whatever. I don't know. It could be could be interesting. Um, and it's got a really nice big basement. Eva can practice her oh karate i didn't finish talking to you about karate so uh eva has been doing this karate and i really really like it because what they do in the karate class is instead of is instead of yeah that's a better view right instead of um having like and this is this is an this is an, a knock on my niece, my American niece and nephew, but they do cheerleading. And the cheerleading is really focused on athletics, which is great, but it's, it doesn't have any like sort of moral bent to it. It's just do the exercises, you do them good. Obviously there's discipline, which is a great skill, you know, a great, you know, something to drive you is being disciplined. But here, this is gonna answer your secret. This is like a concrete refinery or something that's been left here. I've, people have uh, taken up residence or something in a lot of these little nooks and crannies. <laughs> kind of weird. But uh, the uh, in karate, though, it's physical, but also they sit the kids down at the end of every class and they talk about you know, one of the most important things is to listen to your parents and uh, be good to one another. And, you know, understanding that, you know, violence isn't the solution and trying to give people um, all sorts of uh, lessons like, like do, the, do the laundry, you know, organize the clothes in the house, do the dishes. And they have homework and the homework consists of, you know, helping uh, with the family, whatever your family is, you know. And uh, I really, really like it. Well, the first time we, uh, the first time we went to uh, went to karate, and she, Eva did her test thing. You know, they sat all the kids down, and they were talking to them about being a good moral. Being a good moral person, and my battery is dying in the phone. So, which is good timing. We're almost back. should have taken that turn. I'll take this next turn. Forward or backward? We're about to go into town. What do you think? Camera forward or camera backward? I'll go forward. Anyways, uh, I'm really happy with how she's taken to karate. She loves it. It's going to teach her a little self-defense. It's going to teach her some discipline. It's going to teach her some morals. It's a uh, good all around. Yeah, you saw those, right? Like the our, and I think our school is is really, really good. Like, it's like a really, really good school, just in general. So, uh, good teachers, good staff. And even when we moved to the new house, um, the uh, even if we move to the new house, we'll still drive her to this school because we like it so much, even though it's kind of out of the way. But, yeah, that was the uh, nature side of the of the drive today. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun little ride. Well, that's an interesting combination of houses. Here's another.
another one. This is, <laughs> they took the wheels off and everything. I, I, they're not going anywhere. If you want to move me, you're going to have to, you're going to have to bring a truck or something, I guess. Well, a tube, uh, seems like the homeless situation is better than it has been because a lot of the, a lot of the places that I saw about a year ago have been, go have been cleaned up. So I certainly see some improvement, but there's still quite a bit of, uh, there's still quite a bit of it, but it looks a lot better than it used to. That's for sure. Ooh, I have to pee. I gotta go. I gots to go. I would use that shack for ice fishing. Oh. Here comes the, the Tron. I'll cross here. Oh, big one. Oh, these are all engines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven engines. A nice little that was a nice little end actually to uh, to our little video here so uh, yeah how is the import export business now well, right now not so great but it's okay there's still some business here and there so it's okay I'm not doing any import export though I'm, I'm just existing on some savings and uh, and on YouTube, which which is doing okay. YouTube has been better, but it's uh, hopefully with this tour to Italy and Europe, and when the van's finished, things will start to become more regular. The most important thing on YouTube is dependability and regularity with regards to publishing videos. That is by far the most important thing. It doesn't really even matter the quality of the videos as much as the regularity and consistency. And uh, I have unfortunately not been that consistent with, uh, with publishing, but things will be changing. And I will be in Europe and, and uh, I plan to be a bit more consistent with the content. I like the live stream. Homeless situation. Uh, yay, we get out. We get out. We get out train. That's good. We'll be over there in August. Uh, let's see. Have to come to you. Yeah. Those karate teachers were so positive. Yeah. I have an old Chinese architecture. I love that old part. Yeah, me too. Okay. So that's about it. Um, I'm trying to upload weekly. Hard work. Hey, Roman Rob. Nice to see you back here. Yeah. Well, you're back, and I am going to... Uh, I am going to leave you, actually. Because I want to go to the bathroom. I have to pee like crazy. <laughs> but it's been nice to talk to you. And uh, we'll talk again another time. The, I will do a video. I, I probably make a real video tomorrow, because it's going to be... A whole ordeal to get the van or the uh, trike disassembled and packed and ready for travel so that should be fun 
So take it easy, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little ride here in Portland, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.